used it on um did i use it no i haven't used it angles <laughs> to my channel thank you for clicking this video thank you for taking care of how much watching me do what i do so today as you can see we have a full face going on if you'd like to see the products i'm actually reviewing right now on another video please click on the cards up above i'm not quite sure which one will come out first but obviously i'm giving you guys content okay so today we are going to go into an eyeshadow look it's another cool tone eyeshadow look and we're going to be using the beauty bay neutrals palette i did a gray kind of like scale cool tone eye look using a combination of both the nude palette and the neutrals palette but they were both nine pans i did mention that i was going to get the bigger version and i got it so we're going to go into this eyeshadow palette i have used it on um did i use it no i haven't used it oh my gosh i haven't used it so as you can see the, the sleeve thing is still on it i actually used the jade fur wall palette to do a previous look which obviously the video is out i'll link up in the cards above this is a palette it's huge bro 42 pants of shade what am i gonna do with all this but well, we're gonna do something okay we are gonna do something so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create i'm actually gonna wing it i'm gonna wing a neutral eye look prepped my lids with a bit of concealer okay so i'm gonna need like a warm tone brown because i kind of want to put something in this area here for a bit of contouring let's go into shade pecan we're just gonna go straight into this because there's no need to introduce this palette it is on beauty bay and they are doing a sale so yeah they're currently doing a sale on beauty bay on some of their products this, God, this shade is deep honey wow like really deep i didn't expect that and it looked it looked lighter in the pan okay let's get into it so the nine pan palette normally consists of just mattes whereas the 12 pan and the 42 pan both have shimmers so more so reason why i thought you know what just to get a bit more variety let me get the 42 pan this is my first 42 pan beauty bay palette and yeah i've never had a, i've never had such a big palette before i'm gonna use the same brush so obviously i'm just gonna clean it off i feel like going into let's go into canyon so that first one i use was pecan i'm gonna go into canyon canyon here and this is just gonna go in this area this is gonna be a very simple look let me get a smaller brush because that's not really practical this is gonna be our brow bone shade yeah i like that i'm just gonna blend that into previous shade so get like a nice cool tone canvas going on cheat is very cool wow not that i expected it to be warm and they're just blending in well really really nicely i'm thinking of going into the shade iris which is this like cool mauve color not that mauve can be warm can mauve be warm i don't know we're just gonna plot her here and just blend her up into the crease area oh i like that i really like that very nice as i said we're just winging it I didn't have an actual plan of what I wanted to do. I was going to do more of a brown and neutral situation. Or maybe like a graphic line situation. But I ran away from it. This this is looking real nice. I like this tone. And for the lid space area. I'm going to go into a light colour. Which is going to be this one called Dusk. So I want it to really stand out. But knowing this palette is probably going to be deep as well. Okay she's very cool much lighter than i expected okay let's go into petal which kind of seems like on the same mauve kind of journey you know when it comes to beauty bay eyeshadows the form is really good but i feel some of their palettes are a bit hit and miss um the color story is a bit hit and miss now i feel like they've kind of like run out of color stories but when it comes to their shadows it's bro it eats all the time it's just a nice budget friendly like brand where the shadows are actually popping they're giving you blendability they're giving you pigment like, look at that no cut crease nothing was laid on there for this shadow to adhere to it's just working really really nicely i hope that my mirror has not been in focus this whole time so the same brush that i used to place iris no it's iris yes iris 
I'm just gonna use that whatever's left on a brush just to kind of blend the two together so that there's no harsh lines between the two shades and now I want to go into the deeper shade using the same brush I want to go into wine so she's a nice plum but based on how this palette is working right now is it gonna, is it gonna show? so that's what that shade looks like I don't know if you guys can see it's very deep I want to see if it's gonna give just a little in this corner here it's just to add a bit more vibrancy to that other shade not that I needed it oh this shade but the way these shades are just blending so nicely together it is giving me my dreams like story right now as in the Natasha Denona one that I've used before I'm just going back into that previous cut look at, look at, look at the purple look, 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 look at that so I'm going into that other brush that we used to put the brown bone color and just blend out whatever's left on the brush for no harsh lines not sure what else to go into i want to go into a shimmer maybe i should go into a shimmer i feel like i need to do something else okay so for shimmer i think i think i'm gonna go into doll which is this shade here it seems like a bright champagne color seems very hard pressed that's what it looks like on the brush okay it's very nice and metallic -y. let's do it so I'm just gonna put her. It's like I don't want to spoil the tone. Let's watch Bangle. Ah, uh, okay, this is what I want. This bottom shade here is called Bangle, and this one is called Dolls. So Bangle is more of a pinky tone, which I think will go well right here. And I was right because it's still in that pink region, but not too pink. It's just a nice kind of like a satin eyeshadow. It's a shimmer, but not really glittery and just keeping it in the middle there is everything it seems as if the color that i put on there previously is just now popping in the inner part i did use a shade dusk before and i'm going to go back into dusk and petal like a blend of the two and just make sure it's there because i want a i don't want a shimmer in a corner i just want to keep it matte yeah i like the way this is going there's not much fallout on my face. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a liner. Oh, Hubby's calling. One second. We are gonna go into tight lining, our waterline, and we're just gonna be using our M -M -M Mitchell pencil. This is all smudge, no budge in black track. And we're gonna go into our same eyeliner that we've been using in the past couple of videos from Made by Mitchell. I'm just going to line our lids. So guys, I am back and this is the eyes. I think it looks nice. It's a nice cool toned like violet, violet mauve. I love it. I actually love it. I don't, I don't think I've done a look like this before. But yeah, this is, this is it. What do you guys think? And I went for a mauve kind of like inspired lip as well. I used the MAC lip liner in Vino. I went to Fenty Beauty Mauve Wives, no lipstick. This is the lip cream more wives and i use the diamond milk to kind of like top it up to give me a very nice reflective glossy moment oh i love it this is just a quick eye look with that beauty bay palette i think with this palette there are so many other like eye look options to do they are very pigmented this shade here called pecan that looks bright on camera even in person it looks bright it was deep honey these shadows actually show up so i think it, this palette is a moment i'm not mad at buying this um, palette i don't think i have anything as cool toned as this i mean there's some there's some gray colors there there's some gray tone colors there that could be a vibe i think this is like a, a nice kind of like go-to palette that you can use to create a very neutral moment so yes guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys like the quick soul eye look that i gave you guys it's really doing bits. I love it. It's just very easy, not too much in your face. Just there. Okay? Hello, guys. Thank you so much. And as always, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Toodles. Peace.
Like, yes, at the end, it's so annoying. Okay. 